Hey Miguel, how are you? Rick Mills with Execution Digital Marketing. I hope you're doing well. Uh, good to talk to you today. Like I said, I wanted to shoot you this quick video uh, about three different tips that you can use to, uh, to improve your online presence. So uh, number one, I want to talk about content. Obviously, I have your website pulled up here, so we'll take a look at that. Number two, I want to talk about uh, citations. And number three, we'll talk about what, what we call backlinks. So number one, content. Uh, have your website pulled up here. Beautiful website. Uh, love your logo. Uh, the the you know the photos you have um, are uh, are good. It's it's clear what you do. Obviously, just by taking a look at your website, so that's good. A rule of thumb with Google, um, kind of you know something that they are uh, that that really benefits you if you if you have this is you want to have a minimum of fifteen hundred words on your homepage. Okay, so scrolling through your site, you have. Currently, I have 649 words on your website. So I know 1,500 words might sound like a lot, but but really, at the end of the day, it's not. Because, um, you know, everything on your website is content, um, whether it's, you know, these words, um, how pictures are saved. So, uh, and I'll give you an example. So, you know, if we click on this, um, we click on this image here, um, that's just saved. The file name that it's saved as is the number one. Okay, so that's a, a, a great opportunity right there to add content and uh, also to add things that count. So you want to have this saved as, um, let's see what this picture is. Um, okay, so uh, Zeroscape, right? Zeroscape Austin, Texas. That would be a great keyword to have this, this uh, image saved as. Um, and the reason being is Google is scrolling your website looking for things, trying to figure out what you do and, and the services that you offer. So if you have photos saved with keywords, you're going to get credit for that and you're going to rank higher in Google. So that's a little bit uh, about content. Number two, I want to talk about citations. So when we talk about Google search, we talk about buyer intent keywords. A buyer, All I mean by buyer intent keywords is exactly what I typed in here. Okay, Landscaping Austin. If someone comes to Google and types this in, they probably live in Austin, in or around Austin, and they need, you know, they need landscaping. They want to, they want to hire someone, right? And so the first thing they're going to see are ads, and you know, these ads are fine. We, you know, we do, we have a lot of successful Google ad campaigns that we do for our clients. Um, but what we really focus on is our organic results, and organic results are things that you're not having to pay for every day, right? And that's what ads are. Ads can get expensive pretty quick. Um, and you know, there's a lot of trial and error. So if you don't know what you're doing, it can really cost you, but the organic results are things that are going to be there every day. And th so the first organic results that people are going to see are these, these first three businesses. We call this the Google map pack or the get Google business profile. So when pe people type in landscaping Austin, the first organic three organic businesses that they're going to see are, you know, these three businesses. So the way citations plays into this, all a citation is, is your name, address, and phone number the way it's listed on, on Google. And so when, when you know, your Facebook page is a, is a citation, your Yelp page is a citation, anything with your name, business name, address, and phone number is a citation. So what we do is we want to go in, we, see, we have software where we can go in and see what citations these businesses are signed up for and we make sure that you're signed up for those as well and then what we do is we get as many more citations as we can sign you up for all these different directories so when google again when google robots are scrolling websites and scrolling scrolling the web they're going to see that you know you're you're very important you have you were signed up in all these different citations all these different directories um, and again, that's going to give you more authority, and that's how we get our clients. One of the ways we get our clients ranked in this Google Map Pack. Now, these guys are these three businesses are getting a ton of free business, if you will, you know, um, just because they're listed here. So that's how citations and the Google Map Pack plays plays a part in you know getting new customers. The last thing we'll talk about is backlinks. So the next thing folks are going to do is they're going to scroll down and see. Okay, what local businesses are are you know are listed on the first page of when I type in landscaping Austin? So I'm, I'm going to use Na Austin Native Landscaping here. They're listed number two. I wanted to use them because they're also in the map pack, as you can see. 
So they're they're you know they're they're doing a lot of work to make sure that they're found by customers, um, and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So backlinks, um, when when we talk about this is a software um, that I have, um, and basically I can take a look at at any website and kind of see you know what's working, what's not, what needs fixing, and so when I put your website in here, um, I'm guessing that your website's relatively new. Um, because you don't have a lot of stats, statistics here. Um, this is showing that you have four backlinks. Um, that's not a lot of backlinks. All a backlink is, uh, Miguel, a backlink is your URL, so marqueslandscaping.com, that's listed on other websites, and it's linking back to your site, if that makes sense. So um, it's, it says here you have three referring domains. All a referring domain is is... Um, where your where your URL is listed. So what other websites your URL is listed on? And that's giving you four backlinks. Now you're not ranking for any zero, zero keywords. You're not ranking for any keywords. And I'll show you what all this means here in a second. So those are your statistics. Um, I can definitely help you uh, improve this and start being found for the, you know, the services that you offer. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is um, this is Austin Native Landscaping. So if you remember, Austin Native Landscaping here, they're also on the first page of of, uh, of the Google results for uh, for this for this search. So when I put that into the software here, AustinNativeLandscaping.com, as you can see, they have over three thousand backlinks. Okay, it's a lot of backlinks. Doesn't mean you need three thousand backlinks to compete with Austin Native Landscaping. You just need the right backlinks, and that's what I do. Okay, so they, they, they have over 3,000 backlinks coming from 620 different websites. Now, what's that giving them? That's giving that they're ranking for over 3,800 organic keywords. Now, what I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's click into the, the keywords that they're ranking for. Okay, again, we're, we want to look for a, a, a buyer intent keyword. These are not bottle brush tree. That's not buyer intent. That's a generic keyword that they're ranking for. And that's fine, but they're not probably not garnering a ton of business out of that. Now, Landscaping Austin, that's what we had typed into Google search. They're also ranking for Landscaping Austin. Obviously, that's what we saw. So as you can see, let me show you how we read this. So this is 350 searches per month that Landscaping Austin is searched for on Google. Okay. Now, out of that, Austin Native Landscaping, they're getting 92 people that are clicking to their website. From those 350 searches, 92 of those searches are, go, are clicking through to, um, to Austin Native Landscaping. Now, why is that? They're ranked number two on that page. Okay, another one here, Landscaper Austin. That's another buyer intent keyword, right? 90 searches per month. They're getting 31 of those that are clicking through to their website to give them a call, to fill out a, a, a you know an estimate form, whatever that may be. They're getting those clients because they're they're ranked number two on that page for Landscaper Austin, and they they're they're ranking for a lot of words. Like I said, they're doing a lot. They're doing you know they have someone like me that's doing a lot of good work and making sure that they're getting a lot of new customers. So anyway, Miguel, I hope that helps. I hope you get some value out of this video. Um, I'd love to talk to you more about, you know, what what you're looking to do and, and you know, different jobs or services that you'd like more of um, because I'd love to help you. But I uh, hope you get a lot out of this. Uh, if nothing else, if you can leave me some feedback and let me know how you like this video, I'd appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Miguel.